The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus had finished speaking when a Pharisee invited him to dine at his house. He went in and sat at table. The Pharisee saw this and was surprised that he had not first washed before the meal. But the Lord said to him, O you Pharisees, you clean the outside of cup and plate, while inside yourselves you are filled with extortion and wickedness. Fools, did not he who made the outside make the inside too? Instead, give alms from what you have, and then indeed Everything will be clean for you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus was not against the law. He was against some practices which they practiced blindly, without any meaning or without any purpose. That was what Jesus was against, not the law itself. Anything that helped human life, anything that helped to love, anything that helped to see God in one another was very precious in the sight of Jesus. And that is why he challenges the Pharisees and the scribes about their belief about the way they live the letter of the law or about the way they give importance to external things and not to the more profound things. St. Teresa, whom we celebrate today, always loved God and seeked perfection in loving. Although she had many trials and difficulties, she always wanted to grow in the perfection of love. It is said that once when she was riding on a horse through a river, crossing the river, she was thrown off the horse and fell into the river. And she got up and complained to God, Is this the way you treat the people who love you? And God seemed to have said to her, that is how I treat my friends. And immediately Teresa retorted saying, no wonder you have very few friends. But in spite of all her difficulties and problems, she always wanted to be united with God. And one of the prayers, like the famous prayer of St. Francis of Assisi, Teresa also composed a beautiful prayer. Christ has no body now but yours. She means to say that Christ works through each one of us, through our hands, through our feet, through our mouths, through our eyes, and in everything that we do. We are the body of Christ. We are the hands of Christ. We are the feet of Christ. Let us pray that we, may likewise live the way Teresa taught us to live. I'd like to end with this beautiful prayer song that St. Teresa composed. Christ has no body now but you no hands, no feet on earth but yours. Yours are the eyes through which he looks, compassion on this world. Yours are the feet with which he walks to do good. Yours are the hands with which He blesses all the world. 
Yours are the hands, yours are the feet, yours are the eyes, you are his body. Christ has no body now but you. No hands, no feet on earth but yours. Yours are the eyes with which he looks, compassion on this world. Christ has no body on this earth but yours.